Hey, Dr. Sean here, back with a new patient. Uh, welcome to the practice. We have Brian here. Been, when he told me his intake, I wanted to document this because it's an interesting case. Super fit guy, works out like crazy, right? takes care of himself. But uh, about a year and a half ago, is that when he got shot? A year ago in May. A year ago in May, he got shot twice. Uh, once in the foot that went straight through, yeah. and once in the leg that went straight through. Yeah. Those wounds have healed up, and ever since then, something's not right on the left-hand side. He's describing sciatica on his left side all the way down to the heel. And if I got this right, you had physical therapists and stretchers and chiropractors, and nothing helped. No, still the same thing. Still pain in my groin, hip, and the sciatica has not gone away. Sciatica hasn't gone away still. So what we did is, uh, like we always start out with our patients, is we take a picture of them from four different angles, and. Uh, it's nice to see what was going on posture-wise. So let's see if we can bring the camera in a little bit better. So what we did is we took a picture from the front, right, back, and left. And one of the first things we noticed is your head is shifted forward about a half of an inch. But instead of your head weighing 19, your head's weighing 42 pounds. And when we look at your, your pelvis is shifted. So the left side is kind of higher than the right side. So we're going to not only just adjust your full spine, but we're also going to do the ring dinger treatment today. Sounds good. All right. So uh, let's do this. We're going to start out by going face down. Alright, so let's go face down. Okay. So like you said, the adjustments you had in the past, these are going to be a little bit different because they're a little bit more aggressive. Okay. We're going to be using the drop technique. Okay? So, okay. so the left leg is short and it's going to cross over. A lot of the symptoms are on the left. Uh, off camera, before we started videoing, we did some muscle testing and what we found that his hip flexor, uh, which is a psoas, iliopsoas, is really affected on the left side. And we're gonna do active release technique today, which is a technique that we do to help uh, lengthen that muscle. All right, so we're gonna start out with the drop technique, all right? The right one's gonna pop up. Breathe in. And let's hear out. Good, one, two, three. Anything like that ever done before? No. No. And then what I find is people get run-of-the-mill chiropractic, nothing, not anything wrong with that. It works, but for some people it doesn't. That's why we need a little extra, extra work. The drop technique is super effective. Good. Got it. Five. Four. Three. And you see my line of drive is changing when I'm dropping. When I tell you to, I want you to kind of Bend your knees and walk, you almost hit your butt type of thing. All right. Okay. All right. So take a nice deep breath in and bend your knees. Bend, bend, bend. Air out. Good. Come down. Got it. And you are stiff, huh? Yep. Yeah. Got it. Big release. Yeah. And it's funny when people watch these YouTube videos, they're like, oh, where is this practice? You can hear it. We're in New York City. They got the window open today. It's a nice spring day, almost summer. So we have people coming from near and far because of the work that we do. Breathe in, drop this head, neck and shoulder, drop this down. Ho, 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 that was beautiful. Oh, you did? That felt really good. Yeah, it felt good. That was great, drop this down. Got it. Now flip over and lay on your back. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do this leg adjustment. It's gonna adjust your hip. It's gonna adjust your thigh, even into the lower back, okay? So drop this, breathe in, and let it out, drop this down. Oh, you feel that in the knee? Yeah. Did you feel it in the hip as well? Yes, I did. Feel like I needed that. You needed that? Sometimes, like, you know, I, that's what I'm talking about at home. Like, I feel like I need my hip or groin crack. Yeah? Because that's like, the only time it feels good is when I'm in pain. It's like weird to even say that. Yeah, no, that's because it, we're doing a distracting along the y-axis. And a lot of chiropractors, they don't do stuff like this. So, you know, more and more doctors are doing our, the technique that we utilize. And we're helping people in a short period of time that normally wouldn't get help with traditional care. So that's drop this. Okay, not much as you need this much. Drop this. Good. Sit up for me. Now that you're standing up, uh, I'm going to jump on this table. But tell me what's different now. Good. That's a good word to say. <laughs> like, that's what we want. All right, so now lay on your back. I want your butt here. I want this metal bar to be below, I mean above your hips. All right, so I'm going to talk you through it because every time I do this video, people out there watching, 
are just curious. So it's always good to have people understand what's going on. So hips a little bit lower. Per uh, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna raise this. All right. So what this is gonna do is gonna come up towards you. And you're a big guy, so I probably have to raise it a little bit more. So when I do this, it should be tight here at the base of your skull. You shouldn't feel it around your Adam's apple. If it feels like it's choking you, I'm not doing it right. And I want you to tell me, okay? Don't be shy. Right, I want to make sure you. it's comfortable. It's the only point, right? Yeah, it's going to be, a, the only place I think it's a little uncomfortable is at the top of your hips, where I have the, the pins in yeah, here. it's a little tight. It's a little, a little tight. I feel like I'm wearing a size 32. Yeah, breathe in and let it out. Good, breathe in and let it out. Wiggle those toes, wiggle. God. Shit. Shit what? That hurts. Oh. Where? My back on the left side. You felt that left side? Did you feel a release there? Yes. That's exactly where it needed to go. Felt like a pop, right? Yeah. It doesn't hurt now, though. No. Okay. Take a nice deep breath in. Good. I'm going to rotate. I'm going to rotate and drop this. And then with me. That was it. Good. One more. Got it. Okay, good. Perfect. And we're just gonna still kick in there. And we're gonna wait till you come down. Alright. Okay, now that this is stopped, I'm gonna have you turn facing me completely on your side. Oh yeah, and then sit up. And now stand up. Same, better, worse. Feels fine. Feels fine? Okay, stand facing this way. All right, so now we're going to do the instrument work, and then we're, we're, we're going to continue doing the soft tissue work that I mentioned. Head up straight, good shoulders back. So, you know, this technique is just one of the techniques that I do. I really love it. I think it produces excellent results. But when I find things like an iliocella that's really short or a hip flexor, I'm going to do some active release technique on it, and that will just complement what we're doing here. Okay, so lay flat on your back for me once again. Your head's here, flat on your back. Uh, flat on your back, the other way. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna test this uh, hip flexor again. So we're gonna show what we got. So lift this leg up. This is the good side. Yes. Hold it up, don't let me push down. Nope. Okay, strong. Lift this side up. Hold it up, don't let me push down. You feel that, it feels better actually than before the- yeah, I felt like you was able to put it down. Aston. Yeah, so I'm still going to work on this left side. I mean, when we, we did the cap, we did it prior to the adjustment, this left side gave out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here, and this is not a pleasant move, okay? Right. I'm going to use this finger, and I'm going to go down, 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 down. I'm going to press into that muscle. Once I'm on it, you're going to make a face, okay? And when I say move, you're going to bring this elbow into my hand. So bring your elbow into my hand, yep, so I know I'm on the muscle. Once I'm on the muscle, this leg, is gonna go straight, one, go back two, forward. yeah. You're gonna keep on going until it stops hurting and it becomes more fluid and we'll retest that muscle, okay? Uh, I'll tell you when to start moving. Breathe in for me and let it all the way out, all the way out, good. Breathe in again and let it all the way out. 
Okay, bring this knee. Yep, that's the muscle. Now straighten that leg. Straighten, keep breathing. He's making the face. Keep breathing. Good. Breathe. Every time you do it, don't rush. Nice and slow. Keep moving. Eventually you do it where it's no longer painful. Breathe. Slow it down. Keep moving. Breathe. Good. Less painful. Or still. Still hurts. Still hurts. Keep going. This is called active release technique. Um, if you can find a chiropractor that does this what you are, great, great technique to complement what we're doing here today. Still painful or? Yeah, usually it doesn't take this many passes. Okay, usually I do them like five, six times, but he's got a bad hip flexor here. Hold his leg up again. Don't let me push down. It's still hesitation, but it seems improved from last time. All right, now stand up, walk around, and tell me what you notice is different. I mean, I feel good, but like I said, I wouldn't know until after the days, a few days later. Right, so the way the protocol works is you've been like this for a year, if not more. For us to make any impact, we want to keep the visits close together. My treatment protocol for this, six visits. If I can't get you 80% improved, we're not going to treat you anymore. We want to get you improved. All right? All right, cool.